This video deals with chapter 3 of CRM. Testing concept includes PART, CPM, FPA, EVA and other related concepts. PART and CPM Project Evolution Review Technique and Critical Path Methodology They are methods for estimating project duration or timelines. Advantage of PART or CPM is that in CPM only single duration is considered. While in PART we consider three different scenarios that is optimistic, pessimistic and normal that is the most likely scenario. And on the basis of these three scenarios a single critical path is arrived. So if you see PART is more reliable than CPM for estimating project duration or timelines. So when objective is to estimate project duration or timelines, our first preference should be PART. FPA and SLOC. FPA is very important from CISA exam point of view. Basically both are methods for software size estimation. First one is direct method while FPA is indirect method. So FPA is basically arrived on the basis of number and complexity of inputs, outputs, files, interfaces and queries. FPA is more reliable than SLOC especially for complex program or projects. So, when objective is to identify software size estimation, our first preference should be function point analysis, that is FPA. So, again chart. It helps to monitor the progress of entire project. It can be used to track the achievement of milestone. So, in CISA exam, when objective is to monitor the progress of the project, our answer should be Gantt chart. Earned value analysis. EVA compares following metrics at regular interval. Budget to date, actual spending to date, estimate to complete and estimated completion. So, we need to note in CISA question if any of the following metrics are there and we need to monitor the project, our answer should be earned value analysis. So how we will differentiate between the chart and EVA? So both is used to monitor the progress of the project. But EVA emphasis on the earned value up to date and estimated completion. So, Choose EVA when question hints about the budget to date or actual spending to date or estimated completion. So this is the basic differentiation between Gantt chart and EVA. So CISA question objective is it simply to monitor the progress of the project. Our answer should be chart. However, if any of the following is there in the question, your answer should be earned value analysis. Time box management. It prevents project cost overruns and delays from scheduled delivery. It is used for prototyping or rapid application development where project need to be completed within particular time frame. To help save the time, it integrates system and user acceptance testing. So when objective is to prevent cost overrun and delays, our answer should be time box management. Let us understand CISA question objectives and our answer for the same. So when our objective is to estimate project duration or timelines, our answer should be PART or CPM. First preference to be given to PART. Now, when our objective is to monitor progress of the project, our answer should be Gantt chart. But in question, if specific details are given for budget to date or actual spending to date or estimate to complete or estimated completion, our answer should be unvalue analysis. 
to estimate size of the software development efforts our answer should be function point analysis To prevent cost overruns and delivery delays, our answer should be time box management. So let us recap what we learned in last slide. So earned value analysis, where you will put in the above four table. Yes, it should come. When specific detail with respect to budget to date or actual spending to date or estimate to complete or estimated completion is given. So, but where you will keep this part? Yes, part is used to estimate project duration or timelines. Okay, chart. Yes, to monitor the project. Function point analysis. You got it right. It's to estimate the software size. CPM. Again, to estimate project duration or timeline. But first preference to be given to part. Again, SLOC. To estimate software size. But first preference to be given to function point analysis. Let us discuss some CISA related question. An IS auditor is evaluating how the project manager has monitored the progress of the project. Which of the following is most relevant in this context? So if you see question objective is monitoring the progress of the project. So in such scenario our answer should be Gantt chart. Okay, let us again recap what we learned earlier. CPM and PERT to estimate project duration. Chart to monitor the progress of the project and function point analysis to estimate the software size. So again, which of the following should an IS auditor review to understand the project progress in terms of time, budget, deliveries and for projecting estimated completion. So if you see here, certain specific metrics with respect to estimates at completion are been given. So we already discussed in such scenario our answer should be earned value analysis. So if you remember both EVA and chart is used to monitor the progress of the project. However, EVA emphasis on earned value up to date and estimated completion. So, Choose EVA when question hints about budget to date or actual spending or date to estimated completion. Okay, again, purpose of function point analysis is so to estimate efforts required to develop the software. Which of the following is advantage of the program evaluation review technique over other techniques? It considers different scenario for planning and control project. So, CPM consider only single scenario while part consider three scenario that is most likely or optimistic or pessimistic. So, question is a system under development has multiple linked modules which will handle several million transactions per year. Which of this technique could an IS auditor use to estimate the size of the development effort? If you see, we already discussed two methods are there to estimate software size. One is FPA and other is counting source line of code. FPA is an indirect method for software size estimation. It is useful for evaluating complex applications. Whereas SLOC gives a direct measure of program size but does not allow for complexity that may cause by having multiple linked modules and a variety of inputs and outputs. Which of the following techniques would provide the greatest assistance in developing an estimate of project duration? So if you see our project or our question objective is to estimate project duration. So our answer should be but part. 
again let us recap CPM in part is used to estimate the project duration with first preference to be given to part chart is used to monitor the progress of the project and FP is used to estimate the software size when identifying an earlier project completion time the activity test should be selected for early completion and more concentration are those always remember whenever slack time is zero that activity is critical alternatively any activity which is critical have by default zero slack time so they are the critical activities and their early completion is required A project has budget of 16 hours that is spread across two days. While reviewing the IS auditor notes that the development team has spent eight hours of activity at the end of first day. However, still 12 hours activity is remaining pending. So IS auditor should report that the project is ahead of the schedule, behind the schedule, or is on schedule. So my answer will be behind the schedule. And this is the reason. So at the end of the day, I should have completed eight hours of activity. But value of actual work completed is only four hours. So this is divided by total budgeted hours minus spending hours. So my activities is delayed by four hours. An IS auditor is reviewing a project control through time box management. So what are the characteristics of a time box management? not suitable for prototyping or rapid application no in fact it is suitable for prototyping and rapid application development it prevents project cost overruns and delays yes this is the main characteristic of time box management again it integrates separate testing and user accepting testing an organization is planning to add personal to the activities imposing time constraint on duration of a project which of the following should be revalidated first so your answer should be under such scenario critical path of the project critical path must be revalidated to ensure that additional resources will in fact shorten the project duration which of the following would best help to determine the timeline for a project and prioritize the project activities so again let us see what is the objective timeline for a project so in the search scenario our answer should be part thanks for watching please visit datainfosec.com for more such videos